The renovation is complete. Fabric is all from swatches you choose. Your mother's vintage designs on display. And this area can be showroom or waiting room. Parties or meetings. Form follows function. And in here, Miss Blair's private office. This is divine. This is so me. Oh, this Women's Wear Daily article could make or break me as the new head of Waldorf, and the atelier is the perfect backdrop. All these years of folding my sweaters and fluffing my pillows has really paid off. You've developed taste. Yes. Oh, Miss Blair's new samples looks lovely. And I glad the office is up to snuff. But I, I worry if WWD will ask uh, where are the designers, seamstresses, and models. It is unfortunate that my mother's Paris team declined to follow me back to New York, but not to worry. While you were paint and papering, I came up with a plan. Hello, ladies. Get ready to assume your roles. Go get dressed for success. The sofa might be chic, but my neck is not happy with this kink. Would you prefer the kink of watching your father do it with fake Charlie again? No, I did not watch. I got the hell out before they saw me. The image is still burnt right here. So think that I used to consider Brooklyn a moral high ground. Now that my father's fallen off his pedestal, I'm free of such delusions. Your loss of faith in humanity turns me on, as does the fact that your book was rejected by Simon & Schuster and you were dropped by your agent. I still don't get why they didn't want it. They sent me to Italy to write Inside Part 2, and this time I delivered a real story with real names. Raw, hard facts. Please say raw and hard again. Who cares about Alessandra and the entire lit set? They're just book nerds. Revenge is a dish best served serialized, one delicious chapter at a time. Once we find the right magazine and everyone starts talking, then the book offers will come in, then the movie, and then the Broadway musical. Check your calendar. We have meetings all afternoon. All right, well, I got an errand to run. See you at Vanity Fair. Can't wait to start burning bridges together. Well, thank you for accepting our invitation for brunch, Charles. You know how important it is to me that we make an effort as a family. Of course, and I do want you both to get to know Amira. I mentioned she speaks seven languages, including body. Numerous times, micro-expressions, vocal shifts, we get it. She's the mentalist. <laughs> Eat a crepe. So how did you two get together? It's a tale as old as time. Boy meets girl, girl falls for boy, and shares her deepest and darkest secrets. <laughs> Chuck exaggerates. Um, we both found ourselves admiring the fish tank at Oceano. A classic meat cute and quite ordinary, I'm afraid. Amira was attending a business dinner with Khalid Al Saleh. You must know him, Father. He's big in Middle East real estate. He's developed a few hotels. Doesn't ring a bell. Really? Because Amira says he knew you. I doubt very much that Amira discusses her work with you. She seems like an intelligent woman. Who understands that her livelihood, if not her life itself, depends on her discretion. If you'll excuse me, I should confirm my flight for tonight. You certainly scared her off. You know, I think I'm done also. I have a meeting with Bruce Kaplan to find out if Bass Industries is finally bouncing back after your reign. Charles, I know you're upset that your father took his company back, but give him a chance. He did risk his life to save yours. And he's not the man he used to be.